Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm Marco D'Angelo joined in studio with Ralph Michaels at Cal Sports and Preston. You know him as the sports cheetah and we can't do a BYU game without having you on the panel, Preston. Now, we know you follow the Utah teams uh, very closely. And my question, I'm going to start, head it right to you. BYU, what can they possibly have left in the tank? This is their sixth game in six weeks. They've played four of the six away from Provo. And, you know, they played on Friday night last week, so they get an extra day's rest, which they'll need. Because I'll tell you what, I had Toledo in that game, and just watching the game, I had to take a nap after the game was over. I was wore out. That one just up and down the field. What? How do they get them back up this week? Well, it's tough because before the season started, you would have looked at that Toledo spot at home as being one of their wins that they should take care of business. You know, I think I would have lined the game double digits uh, coming into the year. and. You know, that ended up being as emotionally draining and up and down, like you said, as any of the other games. You know, some of the other ones are physically worn down by like UCLA and and whatnot. But in this spot, uh, it's it's another bad one. I mean, they travel in. That, last year they went to Michigan on the road after three pretty close games that were uh, down to the wire, and they lost 35-0. And it, you know, this one kind of reminds me of that. Um, but at the same time, I thought that West Virginia, when they played them, and West Virginia was coming off a bye, that that would be kind of the game they folded. And they were down 17, I think, but they, they fought back. They scored two touchdowns and actually covered in that one. So, you know, all of BYU's games have been decided by three or less. Well, I think they're two and three. Mm. Um, but, but they've been covering spreads no matter what. Uh, they didn't end up covering last week. Toledo got there for you, fortunately. Um, but one thing that intrigues me most about this game, I don't think I'm going to end up betting it, but I'm really curious to see what we get out of Sparty. Uh, I think this is a Sparty team that, you know, from the get-go, week one, struggled very, very, very much with uh, Furman at home. Mm -hmm. And then they had a bye, and people kind of forgot that they had that game against Furman. Um, but then they struggled again um, after they had the Notre Dame win on the road against Wisconsin, and then they, you know, again lost mm -hmm. to Indiana just last week on the road. And that Notre Dame win's not looking nearly as, no. as powerful as it maybe did in week three. Duke, you know, beat Notre Dame the next week outright as three touchdown underdogs. So uh, Michigan State team, I think we're going to learn a lot. Are they going to respond, you know, and, and, and kind of take care of business as they should? Um, or is this just a better, uh, you know, a, a smart team that isn't as good as we've come to know in recent years? Uh, and, and it's not worth gambling on, I don't think. I'm kind of just curious to, to see, so um, I'll wait back and, and we'll see how they respond. But uh, for me, it's not a play. Preston, I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about teams and travel situations, how – uh, basically, we put everyone in the same boat. We sometimes give the military academies, um, they can handle those situations better. How much does BYU and the age of their players and having gone on missions and a lot of them being married make this more of a business trip and maybe doesn't affect them as much? Do you ever find that? That's interesting. To be honest, I, I've never, I've never thought through that before. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely think you have a little more of a maturity level. You know, it's a religious school, so they're not partying. So, right. especially on road trips or home games, uh, it's yeah. I, I think it's definitely something that can be advantageous more often than not. You know, I agree with you. This is the Michigan State week where it's make or break. And <clears throat> excuse me, this is the first time in 46 weeks Michigan State has not been ranked in the AP top 25. Now it's step up or go away. And I think they have the coach to step up. I think they have the situation where you have one of the top five coaches, perhaps, in all of college football. At least he put his name in that hat the last few years, getting to the, um, to the bowl situations he was at. But, you know, while Michigan State lost to Wisconsin 30 to six, while they lost to Indiana in overtime, they still outgained both of those foes. BYU, meanwhile, has been outgained three of their last four games. They were outgained by over 100 yards this past week. I think the situation does catch up to them a degree. Um, not as strong on this one as, as one of the other videos, but I certainly think that you have a prideful team, a prideful head coach, a great fan base, and this is the situation they come back and, and show their heart. My only concern with Michigan State, and that's the side I lean to because I, I just don't like the spot for BYU, I will say – it's easier for BYU the fact that they came back and won the game had they lost that game. I think it would have been tougher to go on the road this week after losing the Toledo game back and forth the way it went. But Michigan State, my only concern with them is here's a team that was in the championship picture last year and now basically we're the second Saturday of October and you've already got two losses on your card. 
it's like you said, we're going to find out the character of this team because it is very easy from a psychological standpoint to lose these kids where they've been playing for bigger things the last several years now to have basically that gone already. They're still looking, trying to get the Big Ten title, but, you know, two losses early is not good. If I'm a coach in that locker room, I can say this. You're still playing Michigan. You're still playing Ohio State. Michigan and Ohio State play each other. All you really need is one more loss amongst there to be back in the mix. I think he still can motivate them. All right. Pick a side here if you got it. Uh, I'll, I'll lean with the home team. Under. We haven't talked about the total. If I had to make anything, it would be under. All right. Uh, I'm going to lean to Michigan State here. I've got them winning by 10. Just this is one of those horrible scheduling spots. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take Michigan State minus the points. And, guys, you can take $10 off any package this week at Wager Talk. Use coupon code PATS in the number 10. That's PATS in the number 10. And you can take $10 off any package at Wager Talk. We'll be back with more here on wagertalk.com.